Hello, in this video we are going to create fireflies effect in Unity with shader graph and particle system. In the end of the video we will achieve the result like this. You can see there are some shiny elements, but really the main point here is this nice shiny particle system that imitates fireflies. So let's get started. I opened a scene in Unity and now it looks really static and we kinda want to achieve this nice particle effect so we will create a particle system object. You can select the right option in effects submenu. And now you see it's an empty object with particle system attached on it and it's already spreading something but it looks a little bit weird. To make it easier for me to select this object without a mesh, I will use a small red gizmos icon, which you can probably attach to any object by selecting it here. And then when I enable gizmos, you can see there are small red icons here with the name of the object and they are a lot easier to detect and select. You can also notice that none of the particle system is working in the editor until you select it. This is some specifics of Unity and you cannot do much about this. Anyway, this doesn't really look like fireflies, let's change it a little bit. In the particle system component we will go to the shape section. We will switch the shape from cone to sphere and now we can see that particles are spreading in different directions. Next we change rate over time in emission section to 20. That will make them to spawn less often. In the very first section I will change the speed to zero. We will add some movement in other sections but it will be more chaotic. It's kind of flickering weird now. I will go again to the section with shape and increase the radius to 2. Next I will go to size over lifetime section and enable it. There is a nice animation curve here that controls the size during the lifetime of the specific particle. I will switch it to a different curve that is decreasing over lifetime. Now it looks much better but it's still really static. So we will go to a noise section. As soon as we enable this section particle started moving. I will decrease noise strength a little bit and also switch the mode to 3D noise. That will allow particles to displace to any direction in 3D space. Now it's looking a lot more like a living fireflies group. I will also try to set the strength to 0.7. Next I will go to the render section and change particle size. But it's still not looking really satisfying, we want something better. We can change material right here. But right now we don't have any other material. Hopefully we have a nice texture with a mask of a firefly. It's just a black and white image of resolution 256 by 256. So we will make a custom shader graph that uses this texture as a mask and draws a firefly of a different shape and color. I will create URP Unlead Shader Graph and open it. With Shift plus Space I open it to full screen. Here I will create a property named Emission and a texture 2D named mask. I will sample a texture with sample texture 2D node. Then to make sure I get the right value, I will just add all three components together and divide them by three to range between zero and one. I will multiply emission by this value and put it as a color output. When we go to the editor, you can see strange black quads with some image on them and we can set the color of this image. We need to make this part with black color completely transparent. To do that we need to change properties of our shader graph. We could change the property to transparent mode, but we don't plan to have any half transparent pixels. All of them should be either transparent or not. So we can just use alpha clip setting for a big shader. I will leave it as a default 0.5 value and put the mask output to the alpha value. I will also make color more shiny so that we could add some more emissions there by switching color mode to HDR. HDR stands for High Dynamic Range. Usually all channels of the color are ranged between 0 and 1, but with high dynamic range we can pack even larger values there. Our screens still won't be able to represent them as normal colors, but there are some tone mapping functions and post-processing functions that are imitating realistic effects based on these values. One of such post-processing effects is Bloom. This nice glow around our fireflies is produced by it. Now our fireflies look a lot better. Particles are also a little bit bigger now, so we need to change their scale. And I will also change the section size over lifetime with this nice animation curve. I will add an extra point on the curve that I can control 
and I will drag it to the left bottom corner of the display. But we need to add some kind of random rotation, otherwise they all look really the same, because of the same pattern of this mask. I will make the start rotation random. It will range between 0 and 360 degrees. One of the nice things about the particle system is that you can switch it to different inputs. Before we had constant rotation and now we switch to random between two values. You can do this with pretty much anything here. Now the effect looks much better. I will add it to prefabs and spread it around the scene. Now this dark scene looks a lot more attractive because of these shiny fireflies. I will also quickly scroll the post-processing setup for this project. The main thing here is bloom and tone mapping. Try out the settings to make your project look better. We also do have a special video on this topic, so if you want to set up your scene in Unity URP with good post-processing, you can follow the link in the description and get to the video that talks exactly about this. So that's all for today. I hope you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and see you in the next video.